energy, the seed corn of all development, all growth, all survival, survival, energy. So energy, transportation, information, and manufacturing, these are the things that change humanity, that will change world power, and they are descending upon us in ways that are very unique. The technology is on the engineering benches today, but most Americans and most in Congress have not had time to really look deeply at what's going on here. But I've had the benefit of 33 years of studying and becoming friends with these engineers and these scientists. This technology can be built today with technology that is not developmental to deliver any human being from any place on planet Earth to any other place in less than an hour, to deliver Wi-Fi from space where you never need a cell tower to connect, to deliver energy from space where you never have to plug your phone in and it trickle charges and you can use that energy over time. It can be applied to cars, to houses. The technology of Edison and Tesla that we live with in our energy environment, our paradigm today, is expensive, it's dangerous, and it's wasteful. Plug it into the wall, but yet that's all what we all do because we are used to paradigms. The power of space will change world power forever. And it doesn't have to be a big country to do it. It can be a small island country, let's say New Zealand. Because the technology, if optimized, can change world power. And there's nothing you can do if you don't have that power. The nature of power. You either have it and your values rule, or you do not have it and you must submit. We see that play out again and again in history. And it's playing out now. But we get trapped 